Yeah, per perfect. It's perfect. Just get comfortable. We welcome you here under this canopy <laughs> of love. We welcome you here under the canopy of grace. May you be blessed beneath the wings of holiness. Be blessed with love. Be blessed with peace. May you be blessed beneath the wings of holiness. Be blessed with love, be blessed with peace. At this sacred moment, each of us here in our own way hopes and prays for you, the two of you. They come here acknowledging your gifts of love, your hopes, and your dreams, and in particular, your faith in each other. As you consecrate these gifts today, we each pray that you may find life's deepest meaning and richest happiness. May you be sanctified in devotion to each other every day from this time forward. Each of you has come here because so many have been laid the foundation for yourselves. All of those, you stand on their shoulders. Many could not be here. And we think of all of those who would be here in person and some who are out in video land and streaming. All of you out there, we welcome all of you here. Today, we specially think of Jacqueline's Nona, Adriana, who recently passed but she is here today in all of her spirit with us. I'm going to take the first cup of wine, this beautiful goblet, symbolic of the cup of life, the sweetness that you share, this one cup you undertake to share all that the future may bring. All the sweetness life's cup may hold for you should be sweeter because you drink it together. And whatever drops of bitterness it may contain should be less bitter because you share them. <speaking in Hebrew> Holy one of blessing, your presence fills all space and time as we sanctify this fruit of the vine. And we are so glad to have made it to this day to be here with the two of you. Baruch atah Adonai lenu melech olam shehechiyanu v'kiyamanu v'higiyanu lazman hazeh Holy One of Blessing, your presence fills all space and all time as we give thanks for being able to arrive at this sacred day. Amen. Take a sip. Can you all hear out there all right? Yeah. Great. And now I'm going to ask each of you the formal questions. David, first. In presence here of this assembly, the people you love, do you take Jacqueline to be your wife, whether in good fortune or in adversity, in sickness and in health, for rich or for poor, to love, to honor, cherish and respect her all the days ahead. I do. <laughs> Jacqueline, do you take David to be your husband, whether in good fortune or in adversity, in sickness and in health, for rich or for poor, to love, to honor, to cherish, and to respect him all the days ahead? I do. And having answered in the affirmative, I now ask all of you, their friends and family and loved ones, you were chosen by them to witness this moment and recognize their marriage and celebrate with them that love that they have found. The joy that they feel is greater because it's shared with you. And the commitment they are about to make will be strengthened by your presence and your love. 
So I ask, ask all of you out in streaming land, you can respond through the cosmos. And I'm going to ask you, do you gather here to celebrate with David and Jacqueline the decision they have made to choose each other? And will you give your blessing to this relationship? And if so, answer, I do. Good. So you didn't, you didn't know that you were all going to actually participate in the wedding. You have chosen a beautiful document. The word is ketubah. Literally, it means that which is written. Is anybody a lawyer out here? Is there a lawyer in the crowd? It doesn't count unless we write it down and sign it. This beautiful document, which goes round and round. It goes, I'm going to read it from another text. But I want to show everybody this beautiful document you have chosen. <laughs> really, the circle. But that's a, the circle of life, and we hope that you have many full circles. But it says, it follows, I'm going to read it from an easier day. The David Frank, son of Gail and Jack, the bride Jacqueline Glenn, daughter of Alida and Stephen, joined each other before family and friends to enter into a mutual covenant of marriage, and with love and compassion each vowed to the other. Today I love you completely as I did yesterday and as I will tomorrow. I will be there for you when you need me most. I will hold in my heart just as I hold you in my arms. I will share in your dreams, delight in your joys, and comfort you in your sorrows. I will be your confidant, your counsel, your friend, and your lover. And our commitment to each other seals this document forever. In the ancient tradition, we show that commitment by you taking hold of this together. Show all of your loved ones this signed document witnessed and signed officially. This is making it official as you own this. It belongs to you. I hope it'll have a special place in your home. Thank you. <laughs> Richard, I have the rings. They're in there. They're in there. Come on, Richard. You'll get it. <laughs> there you go. Got it. It's okay. We're gonna do, we're, you hold that one. We're going to do this first. I'm assuming that's to go on. So you're going to put that on your finger. Is it time? Is it time? <laughs> yes, it is time. Place it on your finger. Okay. Hold her hand. Look in her eyes. Hare, at, mekudeshet, li, li, betabat, zo, zo, kadat, kadat, Moshe, Moshe, veYisrael, veYisrael. I have the other rings. With these rings, we are consecrated. We are consecrated to each other. To each other, as husband and wife. As husband and wife, according to our traditions. According to our traditions, and the love in our hearts. And the love in our hearts. And may they be sealed upon your heart from this time forth. And you have some vows that you wanted to say to each other. Who's going first? I'll go first. <laughs> <laughs> David, you truly are the love of my life. I'm so thankful to have such an amazing partner by my side. <laughs> and I promise to cherish you for the rest of my life. I promise to never take the small things for granted and to be by your side through every challenge we may face. I trust you with all of my heart, and I know that our time together will be the most beautiful life I could have ever hoped for. You are the person I've always been searching for and hope to find, and I'm eternally grateful to have you by my side today and every day from now on as my husband. 
You inspire me to be the best version of myself I can be. And I promise to continue to be a better person as we grow together and learn more about each other. I vow to be a great friend, a loving wife, and when the time comes, I know we'll be amazing parents together. I love you with every part of me, and I promise to love you unconditionally for as long as I live. Jacqueline, from, from that first shooting star that we both saw acro fly across the sky, and I blurted out that I loved you, I have been reaching for a way to put into words the depth of all that you mean to me. Having you in my life has unlocked a world of happiness and fulfillment I never knew even was possible. I've never felt emotions as powerful as we feel together. Because of you, I can feel myself becoming the person I've always dreamed to be, and with you, I have found a fierce and blazing passion that I know will grow for a lifetime. Jacqueline, I, I really do fall more in love with you every single day. I promise to show you through a lifetime of devotion that you are my everything, and that I'll always be there to protect you and be your safe place by your side. I can't wait to grow old with you, and I know that you will someday be the most amazing mother. I will cherish you forever and promise to always strive to make you feel as loved as you make me feel. Jacqueline, you are my, my person, my inspiration, my best friend, and I cannot wait to spend a lifetime with you. They snuck it in there, huh? Well, I guess we're done now. Oh, we've said it all. First of all, I want to say to both of you what an honor it is to be with you. I honor as well, I want to start with this by saying I honor Jackie and Gail, and Alita and Stephen, bringing the two of you to this moment. For as accomplished and as competent as you both are, we all know that you did not get here without a most wonderful start that was given to you by your family your parents. And next to you two, your parents are the most honored persons in this room or this field. Thank you, Alita, Stephen, Jackie, and Gail, for the holy gift that you have given us, all of us, in this world. Your two beautiful children, they will be responsible for much good. You know, putting together this sacred day has been an amazing effort. Thanks to our wonderful Zoom meetings, this is happening. <laughs> Almost as exhilarating working with you, it is a true joy. Jacqueline, I only met you this year, but I've quickly learned what a fantastic person you are. When I asked you why you wanted to marry David, do you remember what you said? That's not the right one. I'm going to get the right one. The phrase, when you know you know, is pretty cliche. But so is the right person who was there right in front of you all along. And that's certainly true for us. When I used to hear people say, when you know you know, I would roll my eyes and think, that's silly fairy tale nonsense. These people were delusional to me. I started to believe someone who had lined with me on the most on the important things didn't exist, or that was uh, that I was asking the universe for too much to want all that until I met David. And that but summed it up my introduction to how special your connections and the two of you have made your life so meaningful. As I watch online your stuff, I go, I don't understand all of it. I don't get all the vocabulary. But what joy and what good you're putting into this world, both of you. David, even when you were a child studying for your bar mitzvah with me, I recall an earnestness, and a positive can-do attitude. Now, here's the little story that not, maybe not everybody knows. David knows all my stories. All of them. All of them. He's heard them multiple times to different classes. 
I, he hears over and over. He, I, what am I going to do? You've heard all my lectures, perhaps more than any other person I know. So this is my challenge. Say something of value. Let me tell you straight out, you won't remember much of what I say, really. But if I am lucky, you may remember how you feel at this moment. It's more important. How you felt when you saw each other walking down the aisle. It's my prayer that you always recall the holiness of this moment, the moment you publicly affirmed in front of everybody here that's so important and out in the internet world. There are many high sounding things that we could say. There's just a few things I'd like to say on behalf of all these wonderful people here. We wish you heart, years of heart to heart talks into the night. I know the two of you can talk. <laughs> Enjoy them. We wish you hugs and affection. You guys can hug all you want. And romance and laughter and mutual delight. On behalf of all who have grown to love you, we hope that you'll keep the wonder of this day. Remember it. Keep it alive. Memorize it. Nourish it with the relation, your relationship with humor and imagination. We know that conflict and hardship are always inevitable. It affects us personally. It affects our world, our universe. But you know, we've already come to know that you've weathered challenges already, that they will, those challenges can strengthen you. In times of conflict, we hope that you will push those limits. As I've already seen you push yourselves. Risk to speak the truth to one another, but speak it in love. We hope this, this marriage will call forth from you the resources you didn't know you had to give, and you both have many. Challenge you to growth you could not plan. Enjoy those parts. And shape you into persons of greater wisdom and maturity than either of you could achieve alone. We wish you a home that is truly a home in which you strive to create an atmosphere of consideration and respect, in which friends are welcomed, and one day we're fortunate to see little ones welcome there too. Never forget that love is the manifestation of all that is truly holy in life, and that your love is an expression of what is holy in human life. Just a tiny last bit of advice. There's much made about partnerships. And in the business world, a 50-50 partnership is great. And you'll have plenty of them. But I'm going to make this suggestion. In this partnership, make it 100% and 100%. Each of you gives 100% no matter what to the other all the time. is to the best of your ability. If you were to keep 50-50, as partners do, then you've got to keep ledgers and score. Never keep score. Just love each other more and more each day. Jacqueline, David, you stand now poised on the precipice of marriage. As you do so, you are upheld by the best wishes of our, your family, your friends. You have all of our blessings. And we say, so may it be, so may it be. I'm going to take the second cup of wine because one is never enough. I've heard about you guys. <laughs> no secrets. These seven blessings of marital bliss. We acknowledge the unity of all, expressing our appreciation for life's sweetness. We acknowledge the unity of life, realizing that we are deeply interconnected. May you find comfort in your similarities and celebrate the qualities which make you different. You may be inspired each day by the abundance and the diversity of the natural world. May you express these qualities of human freedom with each other and be blessed to receive them throughout your lives together. Baruch May rejoicing resound throughout the world. May we envision a world in which persecution and oppression cease and all people and animals learn to live together in peace with each other, harmony with the environment. May your love 
influence the world for the better. Amen. From the source of all, we call forth an abundance of love to envelop this couple. May you be for each other true partners, companions, and best friends. We acknowledge the unity of all, and we highlight today's joy and gladness. Bride and groom, delight and cheer, love and harmony, may we all witness the day when the dominant sounds throughout the world be the sounds of happiness, laughter, and celebration. Blessed is this marriage. May the bride and groom rejoice together. L'chaim to life. We're almost done. It is my joy, my honor to now to pronounce you, David and Jacqueline, to be husband and wife according to the laws of this land and is witnessed by all of us here and out on the internet. And in just a few moments, we're all gonna have a nice celebration, but before that, you're gonna go take a little private time. In the Jewish tradition, it's called Yehud. It's a time of oneness. And that you take a, take a few moments and we're gonna leave you on, maybe Richard, you keep, keep everybody out. And you'll, you'll just take a few minutes to enjoy this moment together and enjoy the whole rest of the evening with everybody else. You're going to break this glass, special glass. The breaking the glass is a sign that the wedding is over. It's finished. You're going to step on it. You'll hear it crack. The broken glass has many different meanings in Jewish history. One of superstition and one is evil spirits or full of dramatic folklore. But today, it serves as a reminder that keeping together deeply loving relationships as you have so far is a truly defiant act. Think about that, being here today in the middle of COVID, we're all being a little bit defiant and it takes some defiance to hold up your love in this world. There will be challenges. But you've taken this formal and legal step to state as clearly as possible that you choose to make your love a permanent statement that will not be torn apart by anyone or anything, not even an epidemic. We pray you go forth with our blessings. And I offer this blessing for the two of you. May you be blessed as you go on your way. May you be guided in peace. May you be blessed with health and joy. May this be your blessing. Amen. May you be sheltered by the wings of peace. May you be kept in safety and in love. May grace and compassion find their way into your souls. May this be your blessing. Amen. 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 May this be your blessing. Amen. 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 May this be your blessing. Amen. Okay. So one thing I forgot to tell you, one of the traditions is this, David and Jacqueline are gonna step on this and break it. 
but you all have to yell something. You can say, like, in Jewish tradition would be mazel tov. You could say skull. You could just say hooray or anything that comes from the gut that says you are so happy that we are on our way to watch this great couple make this world a wonderful world. Okay, so we're going to, there he is. Okay. Set it down. Put David, David, put your foot on there first. Wait, wait for her. I'll get out of the way. You can kiss now. Hold on. You, did you kiss? Uh, no. Go for it. I am proud. Let's turn around there, to everybody, to that, to them. Proud to introduce our newest married couple, David and Jacqueline Frank.